All right, so we're on lesson four. And if you remember, we've already done these problems in class. So we're gonna head on down to the ones that we haven't done. So here I have 14 divided by, or 18 divided by four. So I'm thinking how many times can four go into 18? Well, I know I can make four groups because four times four is 16, and 16 is really close to that 18. So now, after I make those four groups of four, I have 16, and I need to take that away from 18 to see what I have left over. And I would have two left over. For number eight, we have 22 divided by six. Well, I know that 18, again, is really close, and I can get 18 by six times three. So I can make three groups, and then when I do that, I need to figure out how many I have left over. So I'm taking those 18 away, and I am left with four. Now, let's look at our next one. 31 divided by eight. Well, I know that it's eight, 16, 24, 32. And that 32 is too big, so I go to the next one, which is 24. So that is one, two, three groups. So now I'm going to take away that 24 to see what I have left over. I have seven left over. For number 10, I have nine, 18, 27, 36. And I know 36 is too big, so I'm going to go with 27. That is one, two, three groups. And so now I would have 32 minus 27 is five. Let's go to our next one. So here, I have 59 football cards with three on each page. So I am breaking 59 up into three. So I'm gonna have three cards on each page. Just for visual, this is what it would look like. This is a page, I would have one football card, two football card, three football cards. And I've seen how many of those pages I can make that are complete. Well, I know that 59 is really close to 60, so I'm gonna use my compatible numbers. And I know that 60 divided by three would be 20, but you'll notice that's a little bit too big. This is how many pages I would need, but there's a problem. I only have 59 cards, so that means that last page is only going to have two cards left over. I can also check, because this would be 20, but that last page would have two cards left over. I'd have 19 complete. I can also check, and I know three goes into 59 one time. I can make that one group. And then I would have 30 left over. This is the standard algorithm that your parents would use that we practiced in class yesterday. I'd have 20 left over. So then I would have 29. Three can go into 29 not seven times, but nine times for that 27. And then I'd have a remainder two, which is that two I had left over. All right, let's move on to our next one. He can make 19 complete pages. How many cards are on that last page if I have 55 baseball cards and I'm making groups of four? Well, let's check. I know that four can go into 59. Well, I know we can get to 40 easily, and that'd be a group of 10. So then we'd have 44, 48, 52, 56, and 56 is too big. So then we would have 11, 12, 13. So I'd have 13 complete groups, and if I have 55, and I'm using those 52, I would have three left over. So that means on that last page, I would have three. My last one, 84 stickers, five stickers on each page. Well, I know that my easy numbers for dividing by five always end in zero and five. And this one, I would have 80. So how do I get to 80? Well, I can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So let's check how many groups that is. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'd have 16 remainder 4. But now I have this problem of how many pages 
will have some stickers on them. Well, I'll have 16 complete pages, but that last page won't be complete, but it'll still have four stickers on them. So that last page, instead of looking like this, like all the others, it's going to look like this. And it's going to be missing that one right there. But it still has some stickers on it, so this one counts as having some. So I would have 16 plus 1, this last page, which is 17 pages. Okay, let's go to our next one. Samuel has 85 prize tickets. How many marbles can he get? Well, looking over here, I see I need seven tickets, so I have 85 broken up into groups of seven. Well, I know that seven can go into 80 how many times? Well, I know seven can go into 70 10 times. Then it would be 77, then 84, and then 91. But 91 is too big. So I can sh spend 84 tickets, which would be 10 groups is 70, 11 groups is 77, 12 groups is 84. So he can get 12 marbles. Inez chose 8 rings and 12 stickers. How many stickers did she use? Well, I see this one. I have 8 rings, and rings cost 9. So 8 groups of 9 is 8 times 9. This is a multiplication problem. We're going the opposite direction. She spent 72 tickets on rings, and stickers cost 4. She bought 12 of them, so I have 12 groups of 4. So 12 times 8 is 48. And then, since she bought both of them, we have to combine them. So 72 plus 48 is 120. So she spent 120 tickets. Number 16, Kiko makes necklaces like the one on the right. She has 19 blue beads and 13 red beads. How many necklaces can Kiko make? How many of each color beads will she have left over? Well, let's see. My necklace needs to have three blues and two reds. So I'm just going to make that note on the side, three blues and two reds. So first, I'm just going to use a picture for us until I get to either 19 blue or 13 red. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And here are, I'm going to 13 red, so I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'll notice these are my leftovers because they cannot make a complete necklace. So now we can answer our question. How many necklaces can she make? She can make one, two, three, four, five, six. She can make six necklaces. And again, I'm going to circle my answer. How many color of each beads? She will have one red and one blue left over. Down to number 17. Amanda calculate 30, 40 divided by 8 is 3 remainder 10. Is Amanda's answer correct? If not, what is the correct answer? Well, I know she's not correct. The answer is no, because she has 10 here for leftovers. And if I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I can make a group of 8 right here. So I know that her remainder is not actually 10, it's 2, and she has one more group, so she can make 4 groups. So my answer is no. The answer is 4, remainder 2. The reason why is I can make another group of 8 if I have a remainder of 10. Number 18, write one problem that requires adding one to the quotient. 
when interpreting the remainder. So for this one, um, I'm going to say we can cross it out and we'll come back to that in class because I think we'll have some questions on that one. Number 19, there are 39 children at a park. They want to make teams with nine children on each team. Two of the children can, two of the children go home. How many complete teams can they make? Explain. Well, we have 39 children at the park, but here we have two of the children go home. So I need to take away those two. So I'm actually left with 37 children with nine on each team. So I need to do 37 divided by nine. So I would have nine, 18, 27, 36, 45. And here I see I have 36. So that would be one, two, three, four. I can make four teams. That's it. Hopefully you got all of your homework.